Hi, my name is Pop. I am making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing how to use FFmpeg and also MKV Merge to split and trim video files. And I've got two main headings here, FFmpeg and then MKV Merge. Both of these programs have got terminals and also graphical user interface and I'm going to briefly discuss the background of each one. I've got prior videos that goes into great detail. Uh, first of all FFmpeg you've got Screencaster or you can use FFmpeg in a terminal. On the other side on the right MKV Merge you've got an MKV Merge graphical user interface also or you can use it in the terminal. Going down to the third line on FFmpeg, we can use that program to trim an existing video. You can remove uh, a few seconds or a few minutes from the front or from the back of a video file. With MKV Merge, you can actually take an existing video file and split it in the middle, say, and make two files from it and or three or four or as many as you want to. You can also use MKV Merge to add together file segments and make one great big video out of several smaller ones. MKV Merge also can be used to add subtitles and add audio tracks. It's very very versatile and quite complicated a program. On the left FFmpeg you can use it to record the screen and that's what I'm doing right now and you can also delay the onset of recording so that you do not have to trim the front of the video recording. I am now going to briefly go over each of those things. I have prior videos that show how to do this in more detail. I've showed this before very briefly I'm going to go over it again. This is a demonstration of how to record the video screen using two methods, one with the terminal, one with the graphical user interface. First, the graphical user interface, it is in applications, sound and video, and it is called screen castor. Castor is French word for beaver. And this is a very good program which allows you to record the screen. The other way you can do it is with a terminal and the terminal program that I am using is running right now creating this file and I, I've just called it arbitrarily 1MKV and it's in the terminal and you have to have a text file that you have instructed U Ubuntu to run as a program rather than merely open up as text. I'm going to open mine up as text right now to show you what it looks like very very briefly. I've got it in places, bookmarks, scripts, screencast scripts, FFmpeg scripts, that's all of them, and then I've got one here that is just called screencast recorder. This one does a quarter of a screen. This one sleeps for five seconds. This one also sleeps for five seconds. Let me just open these up real quick and I'm going to open them up. When I tap on them it says do you want to run it or display it? I'm going to display it and here it is as text. This is what's running right now. Sleeps for five seconds and then FFmpeg I told it to run one hour. Uh, my sound is also and pulse and I am recording only five frames a second and it's not noticeable because it's not a video, it's not a movie, it's just uh, a screencast and you'd think five frames a second would be way too slow. This is my entire screen size 1366 by 768. Yours might be different and this is the uh, codec and then this is the instruction of where to put it. I have another video as I say 
that goes into greater detail showing how to use this program. I want to review the different kinds of scripts that I've got and I will show them all to you as text files. The scripts are in places, bookmarks, scripts, screencast scripts and I've, I'm going to go control A and then open with text editor and on each one it's going to ask me do you want to display it or run it and I just want to display them all real briefly and I will show you the differences between them this is the first one FFmpeg scripts this is kinda like all of them together and the blue is comments started with crosshatch and this these are the actual scripts themselves now this is all of them together and then I broke up each one into separate this is how to trim files this will shorten an existing file and it'll shorten a and convert it into B and it takes SS so many seconds or minutes from the front and the total length of B is how many ever minutes and you can see that the SS here is located after the input file and then T is after the SS and I am saying that the total length of the file is going to be 4 minutes and 57 seconds and it's going to convert A into 3 and here's a really complicated example down here you've got a 30 minute file and you use SS to take 10 minutes off the front well now you got 20 minutes and then you use T to remove 5 minutes from the end so the whole thing's going to end up being 15 minutes long. SS cuts off the front, T cuts off the back. Now MKV merge, this adds together the files. So you don't put in FFmpeg, you put in MKV merge. Switch O for output file and the output file is C and C is created by adding together A plus B and you can have as many as you want A plus B plus C plus D and you can name them anything you want. Now MKV merge is also used to split files and I want to show that to you and I will show it to you also with the graphical user interface. MKV merge dash O for output and that's the output file and I am going to split the file at the one minute location and I'm going to split so that there is a maximum number of files two if I did not put that in there then the program would have split the entire movie up into one minute segments but here I'm just saying put one minute worth in A and the whole rest of the movie in B and then the input file is at the end. There's a note here that the exact number of seconds is not precise because the place for the cut is overridden by the segment ID so it'll be one or two seconds off. On the next one, I'm going to just show how to record a quarter of the screen. Here I took uh, the uh, uh, 1366 by 768 and I divided everything by 2. And down here in black, that's, that's what I have. You can change that around to any other portion of the screen that you want. On the next example, I've got screencast recorder 
without any delay. I left a space for it here. Spaces are ignored and this is where you would put in uh, sleep five and 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 right here is where you would put in dash ss5 you can use either method and they function differently this one is sleep 5 and you can see how I put it in the beginning let me go back to the prior one it's the same thing this is in more detail in a prior video this one here I put in the dash SS and that's it I am now going to show how the graphical user interface works I want to show how to split files up using the graphical user interface. The first thing I need to do is go get a video file. I'm going to show, show you how long this takes with a uh, video that lasts a certain amount of time. I'll go to bookmarks, videos, and let me find a suitable video. It takes uh, Oh, 30 seconds for a big movie. I'm going to get something a little bit shorter. This is 374 megabytes, this section of a TV series. And I'm going to copy it to... I'm going to copy it to the desktop and you'll see how long that takes. And uh, it doesn't take too terribly long. It depends on your computer. Now, let me briefly open this and show you how long it lasts. You will not be able to hear the uh, video of it, the audio of it, but it's 52 minutes, okay? And I'll close it right now. I'm going to open up the graphical user interface, sound and video, and I'm going to go to MKV Merge Graphical User Interface and I'm going to get my input file, the one that I just put on the desktop, and I'm going to put that in. I've added it in. Now, in a prior video I showed how you could uh, merge files together. The name of this program is MKV Merge, and you would think that that's all it can do, but actually I'm going to use it right now to split the file and so I don't use append and I don't use add anymore I've got my single file and I'm going to split that single file up into two so it this is this is just like all computer programs you have to have somebody show you how in the heck you find stuff in the menu here it's in global and okay so I'm going to enable splitting and I've got the screen this big but I need to make it bigger because not everything shows so I will go control alternate 5 I am using uh, Compiz to do that and after this duration well I'm going to put in how many seconds minutes hours or whatever and let me just say 10 minutes okay and uh, uh, I've got to click this before I can put anything in that box. So I'm going to put in 00, zero colon 10 minutes colon 00. zero. Now this is important. You can't forget this. The maximum number of files is going to be 2. If I don't put that in, it's going to chop up that 50 minute movie into 10 minute segments and I'll end up with like 5 or something. So when I put in 2, that says that it's going to make fi file segment A 10 minutes long. And then the second segment is going to be whatever is left over, like 40 minutes or something. 
when you hit start muxing you can see how fast this is it's not really uh, a slow program it works pretty darn good so I am going to close this I'm going to diminish this and let me open up uh, this one it says here that it is the same file name but now it's renamed 001 same file name renamed 002 so this one should be 10 minutes long and it should be the very beginning of the video and see it's 10 minutes and 4 seconds long you can't hear it I can hear it it's pretty loud let me turn it off when I go to the end uh, well, I, I can go right right to the end here, and then it just abruptly chops off, okay? And uh, I'm going to close this. And when I open up this second one, it's going to start exactly 10 minutes into it. And that is how you use the graphical user interface of MKV Merge and again it's in applications sound and video and it's in MKV merge graphical user interface to get it you go to the Ubuntu Software Center you've got to have an internet connection going of course and after your Ubuntu Software Center comes up you type in MKV and I've got it right here. You can see the green check mark indicates I already have it. And if you tap on it and you get more information, it even tells you where it is in your menu structure. 